Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Here is the question. Block B has a mass M and is released from rest when it is on top of wedge A, which has a mass 3M. Determine the extension of the spring of force constant K while B is sliding down on A. Neglect friction, here we have given four options. Option A, 2Mg cos theta by K. Option B, Mg cos theta by 2K. Option C, Mg sin 2 theta by 2K. And option D, Mg sin 2 theta by K. On solving this question, the concept of normal force will become clear. On solving this question, the concept of normal force become clear. Let us first, we have to understand what the question says. Here, we have given wage A and its mass is a 3M. And block B, which is kept over it, and its mass is given, that is M. Whole system is connected with this 3 and spring constant is K. Here, we have to find out the extension, extension of the spring. Okay, so let us first, we have to draw three body diagram or block B. Now this block B is kept over this wedge A. So therefore, initially its normal force is acting upward direction and here Mg act downward direction. So it is theta is given. So it becomes also theta then Mg cos theta in this direction. Okay. Here, due to this mg sin theta, due to this mg sin theta becomes slight. So, our first concept, why it is slight? Because mg sin theta acting downward direction, because given in the question, there is no any friction. So, therefore, mg sin theta overall, this force acting downward direction. So, therefore, it becomes sliding. And due to this slide of B block, here pseudo acceleration generated and its direction towards side direction and due to this here this spring become extend. Now for the second case this is wedge A inclination is theta this is B block and begin to slide downward direction and that moment normal force acting in this direction. As we know that here given theta, it is 90 minus theta. So it is theta, then divided in two components, that is n sine theta, that is n cos theta. Okay, and here mg also acting downward direction. So divided in two components, here mg cos theta and mg sine theta. Later we have discussion about that mg sin theta already sliding to the downward direction and due to this, this wedge is moving to the right side due to the pseudo acceleration generated. Here this wedge is connected with the spring and we have to calculate extension of the spring. So therefore only one force n sin theta. Here n sin theta is responsible to the extension of the spring. So therefore here kx, here f equal to kx, this is equal to n sin theta and its direction is opposite. So therefore kx equal to minus n sin theta. But here n, n plus mg cos theta, upside there is no any force, so therefore 0, then n equal to minus mg cos theta. Now substitute this value in our given equation here k x and what is the value of n minus mg cos theta and here sin theta. So therefore kx minus minus plus mg sin theta cos theta. 
it's okay now multiply by 2 and divided by 2 then kx is equal to 2 mg sin theta cos theta then here mg and 2 sin theta cos theta becomes sin 2 theta upon 2 and we have to calculate x so therefore x equal to mg sin 2 theta by 2 so here we get the extension x equal to mg sin 2 theta by 2 and k sorry so our answer is a c mg sin 2 theta by 2 k is correct i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success whole contribution goes to your hard work but if my videos my lectures my questions will help in your success i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye